Imagine walking into a tech company's lobby and seeing an entire wall full of lava lamps. And not just a few for decorations, hundreds of lava lamps bubbling and glowing in different colors. It might look like a funky art installation or a retro science fair, but at Cloudflare's headquarters in San Francisco, this wall isn't just for show. It actually helps keep the internet secure by generating random numbers for encryption. In this video, we're gonna see why Cloudflare uses these lava lamps and how something as groovy as a lava lamp can strengthen internet security. To understand the lava lamp wall, we first must understand why randomness is so important in internet security. Whenever you see that little padlock icon in your browser, your data is being protected by encryption. It's basically turning your information into a secret code. The strength of that encryption relies on using random numbers to create keys. If these encryption keys weren't random enough, hackers could predict them, use your secrets, and read your messages. In other words, every time you connect to a secure website, your computer and website server agree on a secret key that scrambles your data. That key must be unpredictable, truly random. Think of it as a combination lock on a diary. If you always use your birthday as the combination, someone who knows you might easily guess it. But if you used a random sequence of numbers that you rolled from a dice, it would be much harder for anyone to figure it out. In the same way, encryption keys use random numbers so attackers can't predict them and break the code. Randomness equals security. Here's the catch. Computers aren't very good at being random. In fact, computers excel at being the opposite of random. They're logical and deterministic machines. A computer program will follow instructions to the letter, given the same input, and it will produce the same output every single time. This reliability is great when you want your calculator app to give you the correct answer or your phone to dial the right number. But it's a big problem when we want unpredictability. Most computer random numbers are actually pseudo-random, meaning they're produced by an algorithm and will repeat the sequence if you know the starting conditions. It's like using a very complex and predetermined shuffle. If someone knows the exact method and starting point, they could predict the outcome. For example, web browsers in the early 90s learned this the hard way. One famous case involved an encryption system that seeded its random number generator with just one current time and the processed ID. Hackers found out and could guess those random numbers breaking the encryption. This incident show that if a computer's numbers aren't truly random, security collapses. In cryptography, randomness means unpredictable. Even if a sequence looks random, it's useless if the hacker can figure out that pattern. In other words, we need to give computers some chaos from the real world to get that unpredictability. This is where the lava lamps come into play. Lava lamps are a perfect example of chaotic, unpredictable systems in the real world. Inside of a lava lamp, lobs of colored wax float, split, and merge in a heated liquid, forming consistently changing shapes. The motion of this lava is done by complicated physics, slight change in temperature, convection currents, and the shape of each blob. This results in a pattern that's never repeated exactly. As noted by Cloudflare, the lava in the lava lamp never takes the same shape twice. If you set up the lava lamps together, the combined scene is is full of randomness. It's kind of a beautiful chaos that's very hard for anyone or computer to predict. So how do we get the numbers out of the lava lamp? Cloudflare's approach is amazing. They set up a camera pointed at the wall of 100 lava lamps. The camera takes photographs of the lava lamps as they glow and morph. Each photo is essentially a big collection of pixels and each pixel is represented by numbers. When you take a snapshot of all those lava lamps, you get a huge string of digital data because the scene is always different. Lava bubbles in new positions, different lighting, maybe someone is standing in front of the wall. The numbers in each snapshot are totally Totally unpredictable. One moment they might translate to a sequence like 1732294, and the next moment it could be 5628147 with no meaningful pattern linking the two. Cloudflare system take up these unpredictable numbers for images and use them as a seed. Think of the lava lamp data as a spark that starts a much bigger fire of randomness. The technical term for this kind of tool is a cryptographically secure pseudo random number generator. This number generator takes the truly random seed from the lava lamp camera, stretches it into a long stream of random numbers that could be used for encryption and other security purposes. Even if the algorithm itself is predictable, as long as it's fed this new unpredictable seed frequently, its output will stay unpredictable. So in practice, this means Cloudflare can produce an endless supply of random data on demand, but it's infused with the fresh chaos from those lava lamps. Cloudflare calls this setup the wall of entropy, and it refers to the randomness and disorder. The wall has about 100 different lava lamps mounted in this lobby. Anyone visiting can actually see it in action, and if you're ever there, you can be a part of the randomness. The lobby is busy with people walking by, chatting, and taking selfies with the cool lava lamp display. All that activity, people moving in front of the camera, changes in light and shadows when someone passes by, gets picked up by the camera too. Those little interruptions aren't a problem. In fact, they make the output even more random. Cloudflare staff has noted that obstructions or people in front of the camera actually help generate more entropy. So a person waving their hand or a group of visitors taking a selfie in front of the lamps just add another layer of randomness to the mix. Security wise, this is brilliant. If an attacker tries to guess the random data from the lava lamps, they'd have to predict not only the chaotic motion 
reflections from the lava lamp, but also things like how many people will walk by at a given moment. The exact angle of every reflection on the lamp and even a tiny electronic noise in the camera's sensor. Good luck guessing that. It's almost impossible to replicate. As a bonus, even the camera's inherent problems contribute to the randomness. All these sources of entropy piled together create a random seed that's almost impossible to tamper with or predict. And Cloudflare didn't even stop with lava lamps. They treat these systems with both practical security measures and a fun way to illustrate the power of randomness. One of Cloudflare's executives explained that having something like a lava lamp wall is a way of telling a story about the importance of random numbers and getting people to think about the security on the internet. After all, they could just use other viable methods to gather randomness, like listening to quiet background noise in hardware or collecting mouse movement data. Those standard methods work, but as Cloudflare's CTO joked, absolutely they could use one of those. But where's the fun in that? The lava lamp wall brings a bit of whimsy to a very serious task. Cloudflare's lava lamp wall might be the star of the show, but it's not the only trick that they use to generate randomness. Cloudflare has multiple offices around the world, and each has its very own unique entropy source. In London, Cloudflare sets up a wall of double pendulums. If you have ever seen one, you know that its motion is famously chaotic. Even though it's just metal arms swinging, the path that it traces is mathematically unpredictable. Just like the lava lamps, no one can anticipate exactly how the double pendulum will swing. At the Singapore office, Cloudflare uses a pellet of uranium as the randomness source. And don't worry, it's a very small, safe amount. Radioactive decay is a quantum process, and it's fundamentally random. Sensors capture the timing of the radioactive decay events, and those unpredictable timings provide random numbers. It's like listening to the ticking of a very erratic clock that never ticks at a regular interval. At the office in Austin, Texas, they use interdescent mobiles dangling from the ceiling. These are likely shiny reflective objects that twist and turn with air currents. As they move, they catch and reflect light in different random ways. Once again, a camera can capture their movement and the changing light patterns to produce random data. The air conditioning turning on, people walking by creating a breeze, it all adds to the unpredictability. And perhaps the most creative one of all, the new Cloudflare office in Portugal. They're planning to install a wall of wave machines. If you've ever seen old school desk toys, two panes of glass with blue liquid tilt to simulate ocean waves. Dozens of these mini wave machines would create continuously random wave patterns. They even designed a backdrop of the wall with a reflective wave-like material to amplify the randomness by reflecting light and shadows from the moving water. It's randomness inspired by the ocean. All these methods are different, but they share the same principle. They use unpredictability of nature or physics to generate random numbers. Cloudflare mixes the random data from all these playful installations with traditional sources. By mixing multiple sources, even if one source turned out to be less random than they thought, the others cover it. It's like making a smoothie of randomness. The more varied ingredients that you have, the more uniform the final mixture. This strategy of combining inputs is an extra safety measure so that the randomness is robust and reliable, no matter what. Another advantage of having multiple sources is redundancy. What if a camera in San Francisco breaks or someone accidentally unplugs a lava lamp? Cloudflare has a backup entropy source. In practice, if all the lava lamps went dark, their security wouldn't crumble. But as soon as they fix or turn it back on, it's back to adding even more randomness to the pool. It's pretty amazing that a decorative object from the 1960s, the humble lava lamp, has found a second life at guarding modern internet security. By leveraging the unpredictable physics in these lava lamps, Cloudflare basically turns these lava lamp light shows into uncrackable encryption keys. The reason they do this is it comes down to the simple truth. Computers alone can't generate true randomness. So Cloudflare and others get creative, harnessing anything from lava lamps to quantum decay to ensure our numbers that protect our data are truly random. What's also fascinating is how Cloudflare made this normally invisible aspect of cybersecurity into something eye-catching and even fun. The lava lamp wall not only provides a serious cryptographic function, but it also serves as an educational visual. It prompts people to ask, why on earth is this thing here? And then Cloudflare gets to explain the importance of randomness in encryption. And then as the viewers and perhaps future visitors to these offices, they're more engaged and likely to remember the randomness underpins the security of everything. So in summary, Cloudflare's lava lamp wall is a perfect blend of science and creativity. It solves a technical problem using a surprisingly low tech solution. So the next time you watch a lava lamp bubble, remember that you might be witnessing a tiny piece of the puzzle that secures millions of websites. After all, when it comes to keeping data safe, a little chaos can be a very good thing. If you thought lava lamps powering internet security was wild, hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button if you learned something new today. And leave a comment down below that if you could design your own randomness machine, what would you use? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.